hard hit. Okay, all better now. Loaded up with some new air. So let's get back to work. Got him. Not great placement though. See if we can squeeze underneath that pipe there. Got him. Funny part is the morning doves, they're smart. They're all they're all up on top of the roof right here. Knowing that I can't shoot at them, so they're just watching the blow by blow, I guess. Okay, we got some up here on top. definitely the difference in weight in pellets so it moved a little bit so as you can see you don't have to have the most perfect pellets in order to you know dispatch birds in this kind of manner so 
All right, let's take care of some of these. Now, a lot of these ones right here I do offhand because it's just uh, the angles a little bit. So there's that one. Okay. Meanwhile, we've got uh, this joker up here on top. Oops, sorry about that. And like I said before, it's a real pain in the butt trying to operate a camera and get the shots at the same time. Now I'm going to back this out because there's quite a few birds back there. So if I do get the other shots involved. <clears throat> now that one right there was not great placement at all. That was, I would definitely say that's the pellet as far as more to the one side than the other because, you know, the different weights are, some are going to be dead on, right on, and some are just going to be off to left and off to right a little bit or whatever. So that one is right there. Um, that was definitely not a kill shot. Um, that was more of just hitting some feathers. It didn't even hit the wing. It just, I mean, literally hit the feathers on the wing. So... I missed that one. So I can see the I can see the spot where the pellet hit the metal, and it was right where I wanted it. But for some reason, the bird uh, matrixed it. Get some more of these close ones offhand again. <clears throat> that one. That close. They don't really give me that much opportunity to get another one shot in so they're just a little bit too close okay well we got some that are landing on here so let's see if we can get those guys to cooperate for us there we go <clears throat> well I'll take the one morning dove just landed next to the okay right in the crop right next to the uh, Eurasian collar dove and you don't really see that very often. They usually, like I said, they don't, especially pigeons. Pigeons have zero tolerance for uh, those birds. Oh, a couple more just landed. Oh, right back. Almost exact same spot. Yeah, well, exact same spot on that body. Shot right in the throat. So, like I was saying, uh, pigeons have really zero tolerance for, especially these new invaders. They, I've seen them beat up. I've seen two pigeons, uh, male pigeons, beat up a uh, male uh, collar dove like Mike Tyson going at you, you know, so they they really have zero tolerance for these uh, new invaders um, and I, I'm not sure it's because of necessary food or is, or anything of the sort, but they just don't get along very well, that's for sure okay. The nice thing today is that the tractors are constantly moving around and pushing the birds around so I don't have to sit there and manually have to chase the birds around to get them where I want them to come so I can sit in one, literally in one spot pivot to a couple spots or three spots and, and call it a day this is going to be a tough shot because the pipe's right in the way so and I hit the pipe even though I had it pushed to it a little bit I got another one up here nice As you can see <laughs> went right through that bird right through his neck and left nothing but feathers onto the pipe i know i love shooting over, the, over there just love that spot i don't know it's a sharper angle no doubt but it's a lot oh no no they jumped okay let's get back to some of these wire here now as you can see i'm trying to uh I'm trying to shoot as you can see as I shoot. All right. Well, oh, sorry about that. You, I'm, what I'm trying to do is show you the that I. Um, there we go. Um, I'm showing you as I am sh how I as I am shooting it. So it's not a lot of cut and go, cut and go kind of thing. It's uh, 
there's so many birds so I can just keep the camera rolling and turning and shoot so uh, like I said it's not as fast as I'd like to, to be but it's okay I think you guys are getting my idea of what's out here okay reload now we'll go to this character over here okay let me reload real quick um, Now, of all the places I've shot on, this probably has the third most amount of collar doves per I've ever been um, per uh, acre I've ever been on. Um, there's a lot of birds on this property. It used to be a place I used to shoot on um, for two months until the, uh, he sold it to the city. Um, that place was just bananas with how many birds there were. I mean, I, I mean, we were shooting, my partner Jim Alonzo and I were shooting uh, 25 yards for probably four hours and, and just, it wouldn't stop. They just kept coming back in. So, all right, let's get this one so we can move on here. This would be a crop shot because it's perfect for it. As you can see, hit him hard and he landed. So, okay. Got some on a wire again. Okay. I like when they stick their heads out there because that way it just gives me a very good open spot for the either heart lung or most likely the crop shot. Like that. And that one's still staying there. See, he's sticking his head out. Oh, that was my fault. Okay, when he sticks his head out like that, I, I have a better chance of giving him a nice, clean death because he's stretching his neck right out, you know. Okay, let's see here. Well, we're getting a buildup over here to the south, or north, I say. Some birds. So, let's get close as close. There we go, to the pole. Get the one on top. I don't think that'll scare him as much. Nah, hit him, but not a good shot. Just took some feathers off him. That's a deadly shot. and everything. I'm actually working right while the workers are doing their job, you know, so they're accustomed to seeing me here and stuff like that. Or not only just this property, but in general, that's, I mean, I, I, to sit here and worry about, for them to worry about me and me worry about them, I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, I, I pay attention to them just as much as they pay attention to me, but um, they can continue doing their job as well as I can do mine, you know. 